Okay, a quick overview of the state of play of the uh, Triumph. Uh, as you can see, it's now in the workshop and it's in pieces. Um, frame's really rusty. I'm going to have to clean that up. I don't know whether it's going to be uh, clear coated after I've cleaned it so it sort of keeps the pattern uh, or whether I'll take it back to bare metal. It depends on how much of it is surface rust and dirt or how much of it maybe needs a bit more, a bit more care. Um, as you can see, it's, there's a lot of dirt and rust on it still. Um, the chrome work, a lot of that is, is rusty. Some of it's come back as I've uh, used the old aluminium foil and water trick. Uh, other bits, um, like for example, if we bring that round, yes, there's uh, not much chrome on that anymore. A um, little bit on the edge, but so a hmm, bit of work to do there. Um, the seat in the back there. Bit rusty, but perfectly serviceable. Amazingly, the seat and the uh, handlebars came out of their respective posts really easily. You know, like five minutes, there was no thumping or swearing or anything, so they must have been greased nicely before they went in. Handlebars, again, quite rusty. I've had a go at them with the aluminium foil, but a lot of that rust isn't just sort of little bits of pitted surface, there's quite a lot of rust on it, and it's quite deep. Um, the rod brakes, because this is a rod brake bike, there's no cables on it. Um, they are rusty, but they're so thick. I'm not really so much worried about those compared to, you know, rusty cables on ordinary brakes. These are solid chunks of metal. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the fact that they've got a bit of rust on the surface is not really here nor there, really. And the same on the rods that we've got uh, sort of here, you know. There's there's rust on, on the rod, but... Look at the size of that rod, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's chunky. So not really worried about that so much. Um, and then the wheels. Wheels are a pain because uh, I got this freewheel to work. The freewheel is now freewheeling. Unfortunately, the freewheel, after I got it to work, I then cleaned off the rust. And I don't know whether you can see there, you can see the garden through a little hole. And there is more than one little hole. The rust was a bit more rusty than I thought. So um, these are westward rims because the rod brakes break on the upper surface, not the sides. Um, so mm, uh, yeah, okay for trying things out. Not brilliant probably for a long life. So I'm going to try and source some more probably, but they'll be about mm, 80 quid for new wheels. Oh, I was hoping to get away without those. Um, similarly, the uh, the front wheels cleaned up uh, a bit but as you can see there was a lot of rust on the surface and again um, if I can get into the light there's some damage on some of the surface and also around one of the spokes there so I'm not sure this is going to be a terribly uh, good wheel to keep forever and ever so yeah that is the state of play at the moment with uh, the Triumph. And we'll zoom in for a nice Triumph badge shot. Assuming I can focus. Come on, focus.